Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, nieces and nephews, grandpa, grandma is the world's most dangerous Dope Dealers Podcast. You know what it is. Episode 66 is your man yeah. Jamal Doman at Jamal Doman, J-A-M-A-L-D-O-M-A-N. Toby Hicks at Toby Hicks, T-O-B-E-H-I-X-X. Check us out on Instagram or Twitter, Dope Dealers Podcast. Dope Dealers, that's with an S, podcast.com. What's up, Toby Hicks? We do it for the military. You man, know. the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, National Guard, the Bloods, and the Crips. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's going down, man. Shout out to all the uh, people out there mad about the last episode of Game of Thrones. Um Oh, uh, yeah. Fuck all them motherfuckers. That's why I never watched one of them motherfuckers. I didn't no. have nothing to get mad at. I told you, nigga, I got a real life shit. I cannot be into no motherfuckers flying around and all this stuff. Uh, that oh, was, that, that last oh, episode man. was some bullshit. I, you know, I, it's, it's not, to me, it's not going to rain on the whole entire series. I love the entire series. One of the greatest. White people are mad, shit. man. Oh, they, hey, they, they want piss. motherfuckers to redo the yeah. shit. Yeah, white yeah. people is ridiculous with this bullshit. They said redo the whole <laughs> last season. Yeah, motherfuckers in the regular world think that that's they just gonna redo this shit for them. And you know the yeah, and the writers, some of the actors said, "Man, y'all kiss our ass, man." This is that's yeah, they what it got their checks. I wouldn't give yeah. a fuck. Hey. I'd be like, shit. Yeah, but they did mill it in. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Uh, happy uh, Memorial Day early weekend for everybody this weekend. Partying. All the people out there. With be no- safe out there. No drinking and driving. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And our military is yeah, definitely, mem- you know, memorial. Uh, we remember all our fallen soldiers and, and, and the battles, man. And um, shout out to everybody out there, man. And have a great Memorial Day. Three-day weekend, you know. People don't work. I hate when people don't work. Tell me, I got a three day weekend, motherfucker. You got a seven day weekend. Like you got a damn. You, nigga, you ain't have a job. Wow, that's true. Wow, <laughs> oh, shit. I'm talking about you got. A I three never day looked weekend. at it like yeah. that. Um, what's up, Toby Hicks? You good, man? I mean, man, I'm wonderful, man. Glad to be here. Uh, episode sixty six. Yes, man. Yes, yes. We moving and grooving, man. We are moving and grooving, man. So, so um, we special show, man. We got you know we don't have too too many female guests, man. I think we got to, That's something we working on, man. We got to step yeah, up. We our, got another one our, coming next yeah, week. We yeah, got another we one coming today. On. We got one, our homie, man, talented young lady, man. I've been watching her uh, develop uh, over the years, man. She's a writer on uh, the Connors, true. Roseanne. A show she's been doing her thing, man. You got jokes. Um, so Tyree Elaine is in the house, man. We're gonna see her, we're gonna bring her in in, in a little while, man. But yeah, you know, definitely, we're gonna have a good time, man. She's gonna tell us about being a, a black a sister in the com in the industry comedy game, man. You know, it's a lot of, shit. Uh, yeah, man. She, yeah, yeah, we're gonna talk about that, man. And um, it's, it's going to be good, yeah, it's gonna be good. It's, it's definitely good, man. Shout out to everybody listening to last week's episode, man. Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, homie, um, Stephen Briggs, man, we got a lot of response about that. People love some of the stories, and he was yeah, talking yeah. about, man. And if you haven't checked that episode, episode sixty five, check that out, man. Shout out to Stephen Briggs. Doing I couldn't believe thing. we had crimes in common. I was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So definitely, man, definitely, man. You had a good week, good, good week, man. Yeah, and man, he, we hear shit. You That's hit, all that matters. You That's do anything this good. weekend? Or you, you what did I do? Was you anywhere? Or? No, nah, yeah, I was doing shit around the house. All right, I'm talking. I helped my daughter move out of her dorm this weekend. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right, man. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. first year down. Yeah, yeah, she finished one year. Yeah, man. She didn't flunk out. Some of her classmates from high school they flunked out already. I was like, damn, already. <laughs> They like me at Temple University, man. <laughs> Definitely, man. Well, you know, yeah. let's let's get right into it, man. We got a lot to talk about, so let's bring our special guest in here. Um, uh, been trying to get this young lady down here for a while, man. You know, and her schedule is crazy, but we finally worked it out, man. Um, she is from Los Angeles. Yeah, she is. A, yes, a, yeah, um, yeah. It's not you know like this comedy game is usually cats. We come from all over, you know. So it's it's good to see you know a, a hometown girl doing her thing, man. She was the only black writer on the comedy. Connors last season. The Connors is the Roseanne yeah. spinoff, man. We're going to talk about that. Roseanne fucking up everybody's money. It's and only she, temporary, though. Yeah, yeah, she just finished her first web series called The Dirty 30s. We're going to talk about that. Ladies and gentlemen, Dope Dealer Podcast, welcome Tyree Elaine to the house. Yes! Yes! Her and her mace. She got her mace with her. <laughs> Sound like you came. I know. Yes! 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for having me. Hello. Hey, thank, thank Hello. You. hey, thanks for coming. Man, like, like me and Toby, we don't have too many females come on the show, man. We, we just like that. Yeah, man. We, you know, we and y'all represent, man. So we, we, we got to do a better job. But we, we have, you know, I know me and you've been talking, trying to set it up. You've been busy. What's been going on with you? That's not the truth. But okay, you asked me one good time. I say yes. Uh, but for the audience, I wanted them to think. Oh we, yeah, been, you wanted you know, to we, think you were our trying, people, and our I people, was just our people, uh, Absolutely our people been not. To, no, I want you've been busy. <laughs> you've been busy. This, <laughs> we have we, we talked a couple times trying to trying to make this out, trying to work work the date out. But you, you know, we both yeah, she here, yeah, yeah, yeah she here now. That's all that matters. How you doing? What all you, right. What you been up to? I'm fine. I've Looking been, beautiful um, as usual. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I've been pretty good. Uh, chilling right now. Uh, like you said, I just finished my very first web series, Dirty Thirty. Yeah, that's what's up. Let's talk about that. What's, Thank you. What, what, what was what's the Dirty Thirties? What's that about? It's a web series. Um, it's actually based off of a bunch of videos that I did like a few years ago. Um, like literally just me acting like I'm on the phone. <laughs> uh, like super short videos. I think called I women seen, over thirty be like I, women over forty be like. I 20. think I've seen a few of them. You got a lot of love online. I with did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I honestly didn't think it would. It would. You know, I was just being funny or whatever, or trying to be funny. Um, it started with like the forties, and I did like a gang of different forties ones. And then I myself at the time was turning thirty, so I did one talking about turning thirty. And mm-hmm. I mean, they just like super duper fast went viral, went viral quicker quicker than the forties ones. So mm-hmm. it was super yeah. cool. Uh, it just gave me kind of an idea. I had done a um, I had done like a workshop with my writing mentor. Um, and she taught uh, me and I know you guys like know Donovan Jordan yeah. mm-hmm. and Ruben, uh, Ruben Ruben Warren. Warren yeah. We were all in like this thing together where mm-hmm. they taught some comics how to write structurally sound scripts. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, well, let me see if I know how to write one. And so I just wrote one based off of the videos. So all the like little characters like in the 40s, the 20s, the 30s, they're all in there. And um, I wanted to like try to sell it, but there's no way I could shoot a hole. You know what I mean? Right, right. So I mm-hmm. just took like a part of it and just shot like a part of it and just it just kind of it took off. Yeah, that's what that's 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 what you got to do now, yeah. man. You just it ain't about it. Just now, just shoot it. This I see now. And that's what you just film it and put it out there, man. With and the, see what happens. Yeah, what you know when you know that's the good thing about. Social media now. When we, you know, we were starting, yeah, we had an iPhone. Even when I you kind of same, you I been, started in 08. Yeah, that's why I remember. So it wasn't on none of that. Was back when Facebook was just for people who went to universities. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep. Not low life. MySpace. Like mm. <laughs> MySpace yes. was a uh, was going on. Yeah. I'm on your website. You've been, you've been, I, I totally forgot you was on last comic stand. You've been doing your thing. Yeah. How was that? How was, how, how, how was that? How was last comic standing was probably one of the dopest experiences I've ever had in mm-hmm. my life. Like, wow. yeah, I can honestly say that. So, oh, so, oh, eight. So you're 11 years in the game. It'd be 11 years this August. How did a young lady out of South, South Central, is it? Yeah. It's, a kinda... it's, not, it's not too South Central anymore. Yeah, yeah. Been around there. <laughs> a lot of uh, Labradoodles and Cockapoos. How did a young lady <laughs> coming out of coming out of Los Angeles decide she want to get into this crazy world of stand up comedy? Um, I mean, the real like the real is I was going through a real bad breakup. This dude, he played ball. We was together, like, mm. high school sweethearts. Oh, wow. And I fucked around and believed it when he told me that, mm-hmm. you know, we was going to be together forever yeah. and mm-hmm. shit. He gave, he gave you that story. Until mm-hmm. some fuck shit happened with his contract. Oh, shit. And he took it out on the me. So, oh, and I didn't understand. You know, I was super young. I didn't understand. And I was really, really going through it. Mm-hmm. My roommate was like, bitch, you're crying so loud every night. Oh, I can, wow. For real, for real. Yeah. I can't get any sleep. And it was a uh, spring break. I was working at the uh, at an elementary school. Mm-hmm. And I was off for like a week or two weeks or something. And she was like, oh, you're not about to just be crying every night, like, all day. So mm-hmm. she was like, I'm going to take you out every single day. Shout out to my friend Bree. What school is this? <laughs> Canfield Elementary. Mm. Uh, and yeah, so I was uh I was off work. I didn't have, you know, the kids was on spring break. Right. She said I'm gonna take you out every single day until you're over it. Mm-hmm. And the first place she took me was to the comedy union. Barry Brewer had a night. Yo, uh, make out you to laugh Barry Mondays. Yeah. I remember it was I remember a that. night. Yeah. yeah, and Ron Ronji was there, Chris Need was there, a bunch of other comics were there. Um and we just, you know, we went out, I laughed. 
and we went out to eat after. And even in my heartbreak, because I wasn't going to be like all broken out in public. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I'm like talking shit, whatever. And I'm like, you're really funny. You know, like you should do this. I'm like, I have a job. I ain't doing this bullshit. <laughs> and so, um, like it's closer, closer, and closer, closer. It got to like, uh, then it got to be like summer. Mm-hmm. And I was like thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, before I go back to work, because it was time to go back to work in September. It was right. the end of mm-hmm. August. I was like, mm-hmm. I'm going to do it one time. I'm going to just do it one time mm-hmm. and see what happens. Right. And I yeah. did the J-Spot. Mm. And it was this feeling yeah. I cannot even describe. I, I want to call it like adrenaline. Mm-hmm. You went on a weekend over at, what, on a Wednesday. Jay on was Wednesday. hosting. Okay, and I mean, oh, yeah, I remember yes. first night. Yeah, Jay was hosting, and I yeah, remember it was hot as night. hell. I had a tank top on, <laughs> and I remember thinking, I know these people can probably see my heart beating like out of my tank top mm-hmm. almost. But I was like, I think I want to do it one more time. And so then Derek Ellis had a room at um at Starbucks. <laughs> I, in remember, I remember that and room. And so Derek. I did. I was like, I'm gonna just do this, do this yeah. one more time. That's when I met like BT and you mm-hmm. know, a whole bunch of other people, Justin Hires and stuff. And um, they was probably like, "Bitch, fuck this! Like, get on stage!" Right? Because mm-hmm. that was like an open mic. Mm-hmm. At, as J. Anthony Brown's room was technically an open mic night that night. Right. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that was I like you need that. to get booked. Like, so that's just how it started. I just mm. couldn't stop doing it. That's what, so you caught the bug after that. Yeah. That's what's up. Wow, the J spot was the first spot. Yes. That's yeah. cool. Wednesday. Yo, mm-hmm. that is crazy. So yeah. I'm 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 gonna let your website. You worked at Bank of America? I used to work tell? for Bank of America in the Ladera scenario. Wow. Mm-hmm. Do you ever have guys coming in to try to holler at you? You look at their account and niggas got like fifteen dollars in their account and they trying to slide you their number. There Not was, too much. I, yeah, I, you I, have to be a stupid motherfucker no, to do that. But but I will see their wives on the fucking account. Oh. I'm like, so will Mrs. <laughs> Williams be joining us huh. in fucking numero uno wow. with your dumb ass. Oh, no, we just got the, because we got the kids. Next. Oh, oh hilarious. <laughs> Who would do, yeah, them some stupid motherfuckers yeah. right there. Hol- I think they think when they slide, when, like, I can see, or I don't know how it is now, we could see everything if you slide on one card. Yeah, I yeah. Think anybody, they thought they any, could slide any, They should know that, yeah. No, anybody with common sense yeah, common, know that yeah. you see all the information. Well, perhaps I was just dealing with niggas who didn't have no common sense. Perhaps. Yeah, yeah. I, I was, it's, it's funny. <laughs> I, was, I would know that. I would never holler at nobody at the bank when she got all my, I mean, even if my money was cool, just she got all my information. Anything could yeah, go exactly. wrong. Yeah, exactly. Fucking around like that. Yeah. Um, I think it's crazy. Especially, and if you got a lot of money, it, she see this now. Does she? Do she like you for who you are, or she see what this? Yeah, either way it go, you Probably can't both. win. Probably both. Either way it go, you the, you can't win by fucking money with somebody. Is, at when, the when, bank. when dudes say that, I'm like, money is like looks. It's like, do you like me for who I am or for my fat ass and my big titties? Well, I mean, probably both. Mm, it's the exact same thing. I got that that bit of information from I think How to Marry a Millionaire that's the name of it with Marilyn Monroe oh wow yeah. okay um, it's funny we was talking yeah, about man, guys front about I just uh, I, I was on Twitter the other day and a girl was talking she was talking about her experience uh, she met a dude mm-hmm. and I guess he had pictures of him at uh, like on a vacation spot or something like and they was, she said they were talking and things were you know and it turns out the pictures of him on a vacation he was on his honeymoon she found out them pictures of him, like, on the beach and everything. Damn. The motherfucker was actually on his honeymoon. So, yeah, motherfuckers be, yeah. Who are <laughs> these yeah. niggas? They it's, out yeah, they, here. Yeah. Do you no, hear me? No, seriously, I can't they even imagine here. doing some shit like that. They they don't think, they they think, like, man, I'm just going to fuck around, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then when they actually get a response, they're like, oh, shit, I was just playing. I I, I, I didn't know. And then they have to, like, continue this facade, or at least that's just something. I don't know. For a nigga to put his uh, honeymoon like pictures out there to another woman, like, check me out on the beach. I mean, he, that motherfucker's sick. He's mentally ill. Um, oh, yeah, it's, it's, so they're yeah. Talk, yeah, they're <laughs> talking about the dating game. So how being a stand up comic, beautiful young lady uh, from Los Angeles, uh, and you was just like, what's the what's the dating situation out here? Is oh, it, it's trash. That's why everybody. everybody it's definitely it. trash. And I'm from out here, and it's trash wow. with a ch. Do you hear me? Damn. But I still have <laughs> she faith said with, a, with a ch. <laughs> yes, I still yeah. have faith. You know, mm-hmm. I remember I was talking to my uncle. Me and my cousin was talking to my uncle. You know, when I was. <laughs> Was drunk off all kind of Moscatos, mm-hmm. fancy Moscatos. It was just like, Uncle Michael, it ain't no niggas, ain't no good men out here, ain't no good men out here. And he was like, But you don't need but one. 
Mm. You don't need but one good man. So, you know, mm. like the fact that you can't see a bevy of good mm-hmm. men, so to speak, that shouldn't deter you from, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Trying to find one or be found by the one, you know, whatever way. Do you mm. think being being in the industry, a stand-up comic, you think does that hurt you in, re- in trying to be in a relationship or help you? I can't not do this. So it's one of those things where it's like, it's like you think being black will affect you. Like, it, this is just what I do. This is what I was put on this earth to do. I did date a guy a long time ago who, um, in the church, and he told me, mm. um, yeah, mm. that he didn't think, he was. He just very nicely said, very, very nice ambiance when he said this, uh, do you honestly think any man will take you seriously and you coming in the house like crazy late at night after being around a whole bunch of dudes? You traveling, I had just started featuring at the time, you traveling with dudes, like I've never featured for a woman either, so... Mm-hmm. You're traveling with these dudes out of town. You think anybody's gonna like make you their wife? And I believe that she because mm. he said it so nicely in front of a fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I was like, said, do you think anybody will make you their wife? Wow. That yeah, and I, I was young, you know. I was like super duper heavy in the church, so I used to think any man who said whatever if he was in the church that was just what it was. I need to listen to this man, whatever. And so I quit low key. I quit and just was focused on finishing school, and you know. Are you? How long did you? How long? How long did you quit? Stop doing it. Uh, for, for about nine or ten months, and mm. with the very first time I got back in, the only two times I did it. Oh, I'm sorry. The only one time I did it was Aspire. We got next. Okay. Mm-hmm. That. Yeah. We and that was because yeah. I needed the money. Shout out to Bob Summon, everybody yes. up there. Yeah, that, that was oh. good. That's because I needed the money, mm-hmm. and um, then the next time, but I hadn't done it in nine months, mm. and um, after that. Last Comic Sandy. So that I think that's why it like has such a profound effect on me doing that because I and hadn't done it in yeah. almost a year. And that's yeah, interesting that. that, that, you know, to be away from it for that long because mm-hmm. some people don't come back. Like, they stay away that long. I understand why. Yeah. They don't, they like the hell yeah, with that. come yeah. back 10 years later. Because it's funny, <laughs> over the years, I, it's been, it's funny, over the years, it's, I, it's, I ran into a lot of female comics, and I, you know, I remember seeing them maybe for two or three years. Then I'd be like, every once in a while, I'd be like, I wonder what, what happened to what's her name. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen her in about six, seven years. Well, most mm-hmm. of the time, it's the relationships yeah. that take the yeah. people out of the game. Male, it's and a female. lot of female yeah. comics I've known that I. I mean, and I males seen too. Them. Just think about how many men we know who got married, whatever their yeah. wife talked them out of it, and then you know, in the case, women husbands talked them out of it. And then they quit, and then ten years later they show up at the club, divorced and mad because that you know that bitch talked them out of it. They let oh, yeah. them do that. shit. Yeah. Oh, I know. We know it. We know so a comic bunch, like that. It, it, go, I, it go both ways, though. Yeah. We know a comic like that. Remember, I had almost had to smack the shit out of this comic. Did did he came back to the game bitter? Bitter because he had left for his woman, then that didn't work out. So now he come back, he was bitter and talking about everybody stealing his shit. And I, I, one time I almost had to smack the shit out of him. Um, but you know what, uh, Tyree? <laughs> We gonna come back to all, we gonna come back to that we um we got the dope story of the week and I uh, just want to get your opinion um okay um it's the dope story of the week is just what really everybody been talking about from the last week is this uh, the abortion issue mm-hmm. in uh, in America as you know Alabama pretty much has banned it mm-hmm. um like if you try to get abortion after a certain time they talking about they gonna lock you up like that's some crazy shit. Mm-hmm. Now, the abortion issue has been always, for, it's, since it started, it's really been a volatile issue in, in America. Yes. Uh, a lot of Republicans for years have trying to have been trying to overturn Roe versus Wade. From, more from, you know, they say from a religious standpoint, they just don't believe in abortions. Um, now, Georgia has followed them. And, uh, Missouri. Missouri got some stuff. It's, it's, uh, um, you know the Republicans are kind of in power right now, definitely with the, you know around in a lot of these red states with you know the Bible Belt. They have been trying to do this for the conservative states. They've been trying to do this for a while. Um, now my per, you know my personal thing ish thing is I, I don't technically believe in abortions, even though in my past. <laughs> I, you you know, believed in I've a man. Had, yeah, I know, which is when I was younger. You know, I, everybody, you know, I've talked about it. You know, I had abortion mm-hmm. uh, with you the, the young lady. <laughs> the, young lady the young lady had abortion. Yeah. Um, and it's people out there that's younger. Well, yeah, um, <laughs> I, I don't technically believe in it from a religious, but I also don't believe you can tell a woman what to do with her body. If she don't want to have that kid, then what you gonna do? Yeah, you gonna put a gun to her? And then what about the women who get raped in the incest? Yeah, down that's down what, in Alabama. Yeah. They like it. I seen the dude down in Alabama, a lady interviewed him, one of the uh senators down there and she asked him she said what about in the case of rape he said well have the baby and get over it 
Yeah, yeah, that's I it. I heard that yeah, chick yeah, come out of that white yeah. man's mouth. I could not believe it. He said, how? They and, said, what about incest? Yeah. Have the baby yeah, these, these are, and get over and it. don't take care of the baby. And these, this was in in, in uh, Alabama. If you see who voted for it, thirty old uh, white yeah, men. Yeah, they look like the Klan. So white men. This one of the Republic, Republicans for years have been telling women what to do with their body, but yet they still get the white woman vote every four years. The white women vote for them. Now, which was funny because I put on Twitter. I said, "White women, y'all, you better not see. I better not hear nothing from you guys. Don't talk shit now because y'all every four years y'all vote for the Republicans, and they tell you every four years they're gonna tell you what to do with your body. But we've been talking to. Let's get a young lady uh, perspective about this. What you? What's your opinion? Well, about? those states have done that. Uh, which is why I'm grateful to live in the great state of sunny California. <laughs> yes, <laughs> a liberal state, very so, liberal. Yeah, yeah that's, that's never that will never here. happen here. So I mean, it's it's unfortunate for you know women who you know have to, especially like little girls or victims of rape or incest, what have you. Uh, it's it's unfortunate for them who are living in that state, especially um, Alabama, because ain't nothing to do down there but fuck. <laughs> That's all they got to do is fuck. Now they want to <clears throat> cut the shit out. Go ahead. Oh, shit yeah. Just... yeah, I um, I, I I'm I'm very surprised at a lot of people's <clears throat> like responses. Like, why are you happy? You know, just you know, it'll it'll be a post, a Facebook post that says, "Why are y'all happy that that uh people are banning you from killing babies?" And I look at the person. I'm like, who said that? That's they've always used that. They I'm always like, use it's killing babies. They they always use that. Now, don't get me wrong. I after like I do agree with after like six weeks. I you know if you don't have abortion within six weeks, I, then, well, then well, but some people don't some find people out don't till then. Don't, well, what, some what's people a, don't. Okay, know. from a, what, what what you think is a proper time? Like, like hey, like nine months, eight months, seven months, six months, weeks. Like, that or, is too, no months. Like if you're if if you, no, but you know, can't have no baby after that. I'm saying, what's the cutoff point? Are you oh, like, about oh three no, that's months, what I said. Right? Oh no, I was going like backwards. Like okay. nine ridiculous. Okay, like that's just absolutely ridiculous. Oh yeah, yeah, you, you, you can't know. Yeah, that, after that, that point, is, just have that's baby. ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, and who, unless. Yeah. Unless it's a threat, but I mean that's like unless it's a yeah, it's a yeah, threat yeah, to the mom. Yeah, but yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a law out there. Yeah, I yeah. think um, if it's a threat to the mom, it's like still like a, a little loophole. But at any rate, um, yeah, that's the only way they can have an abortion down in Alabama is if if she if it is if, a threat if, to the life. Really, yeah, oh, that is the loophole. Yeah, okay, that's well, the only I, reason. I will say this: I I have never mm-hmm. had one, mm-hmm. so I can't speak on anybody right. who mm-hmm. has had one. At the same time, yeah. I have a very 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 close friend. Who, who, um, Jesus, I just had a, I just had a, um, she had a four flashback, of them. She a flashback. Had, she had four she, of them. She had four. I knew I was, it. I I how did I guess four? But, but I, I will say this. I remember she called me and she said, you know, I'm pregnant. And I was like, what you going to do? Mm-hmm. And she was because, because she, she called the father. Father was like, I'm asleep. I'm going to call you when I get up. Yeah. Yeah. That, 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 that's, you know. that was his yeah. response. She yeah. was like, I'm going to tell him, you know, I'm just not sure. Da, da, da. I was like, girl, why are you telling me? You got to tell. Yeah. She was like, because I'm not sure. You know, da, da, da. I'm going to call mm-hmm. him and I'm going to call you back. I said, OK, call me back. And I remember I was in the mirror putting on earrings. Mm-hmm. And I remember I put one ear, got off the phone with her, put on one earring, put on the other earring. She calling me back. I was like, was he not? there? No, he was there. I said, well, did you tell him? Yeah, I told him. I was like, well, what'd he say? He told me he was sleeping. He would call me back. I said, girl, what you gonna do? Mm-hmm. She said, I Googled how many is too many. And it said around four or five. It starts to like really, you know, Oh, this whatever. was her fourth one. This, I think it would have been either her fourth or her fifth one if she Ooh. had it done. But, yes, but, yeah, but, but, let's, but let's fast forward to now. Mm-hmm. Baby is six. Mm-hmm. Mother, father is not, obviously not in the picture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mother is be- beyond depressed, beyond anxious, constantly yelling at her, don't want to do this, mm-hmm. uh, hates her life, yeah. hates herself, yeah. regrets the, the, the decision, but feels like, oh, you know, she didn't ask to be here. But she feels like, damn, I probably should have done this because I hate my life right now. Yeah. <laughs> She may, Damn. she may, yeah, uh, yeah, she, yeah, that's, that's, she, so, so hopefully she is, can talk to somebody. I mean, she ain't got no health care, yeah. ain't got no health insurance, she can't talk to nobody. She has, she has confided in me that she thinks often about, you know, things that, yeah, she, yeah, yeah so, yeah, that's. But ain't got no health care. So, yeah. See, that's the thing, if but you want us to have some, these kids, yeah. you need to provide people and women yeah. with some sort of help to take care of these right. babies that you don't want murdered. Now, just to play devil's advocate, one of the Republicans' thing is, because when they say, well, they say, hey, listen, 
if you don't want to have, just have it and give it up for adoption. We'll, we'll which is kind of funny because the Republicans hate welfare and they hate government spending money on. <laughs> but that's so, so yeah. you want, but you want these kids, you want them to have these kids, and that is in the system. Who do you think taking care of that? Yeah. So which is kind of funny because they hate, you know, yeah, that's the ridiculous. government money going to take care. But just, but they, they thing is, just have it and give it up for adoption. Um, but most women don't like, like honestly, like by the time. <laughs> You know, like if, if I honestly mm-hmm. like there's no way mm-hmm. and I don't have a I don't have a boyfriend. Right. I don't have a but there's like no way just mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. you grow attached. Yeah, yeah. So it's just really, really difficult to, to do that unless like you unless you like, mm-hmm. you know, going in as like yeah. a, a what do you call it? A, a surrogate or something like that. Yeah, unless yeah. you have that mindset where mm-hmm. it's just like. But most of the time it's very difficult to part with your child yeah. like that, knowing that they're out there, knowing that a part of you is out yeah. there. You yeah. know what I mean? But you so, know, they can, but uh, some situations where, you know, at that moment in your life, you may not be ready, but you know, in 10 years, you can, you can feel, come back. Cause you can feel them making, though too. You can yeah. feel your relatives out there too. That would be horrible. But just, yeah. just the point on your, your friend, she, you know, she doesn't technically need healthcare to see somebody. It's, 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 you know, I will, I would, it's, I, I, it's places I, I, that. I'll walk you through a day in her life. Yeah. Cause, cause Cause, Cause, I mean, like, I almost cried for her, yeah. honestly. Because she sounded like she. Because I in a remember bad place. when she told me, mm-hmm. and she had an opportunity to do something about it, mm-hmm. and she just was How like, "How many well, live kids does she have? None. This is it. Oh, this one. The one, yeah, oh, just the one. Man. But she's always been like diva, and you know, uh, into her stuff. That was her personality. Yeah. That was her. And she, then she fucked around and got got in this situation, and it was like, "Oh, girl, what you what you gonna do? Yeah. You know?" And and I just it's a lot I of remember fucking to be a diva. I mean, that's a lot of fucking without Divas, no condom. Yeah, Divas just be out here. Uh, I feel like she did use a condom. Oh shit! If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, because she said I didn't. I believe she used the pill as well. Damn. <clears throat> Damn. So, yeah, that's I think so, she used the pill too late. Like I myself yeah. have used the pill. You got to use it right away. Yeah. So you you damn near got to have them at your house. Yeah. Like there's no time to be getting in the car, getting dressed, mm-hmm. going to CVS. You know, yeah. whatever. Mm-hmm. But um, but at any rate. She a, a day in her life. I remember she said, "I wake up. I gotta get her ready. I wake up. It's still dark outside. I gotta get her ready for school." And you know, she she's you know difficult to like get up and all this other stuff. And so I gotta get her ready. I have like twenty minutes to get her ready. Ten minutes to get me ready. I, we're always rushing out the house. We're always anxious. I throw her out, not throw her out the car, but it's mm-hmm. just move, move, move. She spends all day at work, you know, trying to provide for her because mm-hmm. she don't have no help. Yeah. Um. I feel like it's um. I feel like she works. You know, about forty, forty plus yeah. in traffic going in traffic coming back right. by the time she comes back home it's nighttime again yeah. right um it's um she gotta feed her you know get dinner ready yeah. help her with homework mm-hmm. and you know fight her to get her down to sleep she said it's like she said it's like a cycle that she doesn't see a way out of she's on the baby is only six yeah. well so, as she get older the cycle will get less i mean she's just in it right now i can see that but, yeah. but as she get older her mo- it's fucking her up like she's not she got no family real she shit. A family can help she, her she do but it's 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 not it's toxic Mm. It's very toxic. It's one so of those she come things from where a, a toxic. Yeah, it, yeah, it's one yeah. of those things where if you don't do what we tell you to do, mm-hmm. like with your money or what, we won't watch the baby mm. type situation. So she only has the weekends and she uses the weekend. Like you know, she tries to do stuff with her kid, but you know, her family is like, oh, I um, what did her family say last time? We don't even really talk all like that anymore mm-hmm. because she's just not the same person. And I get it. We're all supposed to grow and stuff, but she's not the same person in a, in a very negative way. Right. And I'm not saying that an abortion would have fixed this, but mm-hmm. I'm just telling a story. Yeah, and, and I'm in yeah. no position no, yeah. to tell a woman to keep it or to give it up or anything like mm-hmm. that because um, I am, I'm, I'm, I've never experienced that. Yeah, the only so thing I don't know about what it comes though, somebody, with that. I don't know. But see, yeah, it's like, that's a touchy situation too because it's like, Okay, how many, how many would, I mean, I guess you can't even put a number on it, though, but then I'm just saying, like, boy, once you hit four and five, then, uh, ooh, that's kind of yeah, crazy. Yeah, this is, a, this is a very special situation. It's yeah, not like, it's not like this abortion. happened when she, I mean, that's a when lot. Of, that's a lot of fucking without a condom. Yeah, you got to be but, more careful yeah. than that. I mean, you know, once, maybe even twice I could see. But, but my thing is, this, five, if, no. even if she did, even if she chose to get rid of it and quote unquote ruin, because that, that, her words to me, she don't want to ruin her, her chances. Mm-hmm. That's her goddamn business. Yeah, yeah. My, is is yeah, my thing because yeah. in her mm-hmm. mind she might think well I don't ever want to have them mm-hmm. I, I never 
never, sorry, I never thought she would. Just mm-hmm. out, out of her personality, like, you yeah. way too selfish. She, you know, she got it going on. She got her Chanel, her this, her mm-hmm. that, whatever. She's never going to, but... Um, and, and that's what it is. She she don't... And it seemed like she didn't want to share the spotlight with anybody, but now she got to share the spotlight with it. It's a, not healthy, the, yeah. the way she talks to that baby. Yeah, she, she, she got it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. But I ain't got like no kids, so it's like, well, bitch, you can't tell me, you know, you don't I've know known what people this is like. And that baby's so. just going to grow up with the same type of exactly so now this is what we're cycle yeah so yeah and and, and you know she can't keep a man no oh my oh my gosh yeah that situation that's a whole nother story but just this is just a story it's not to say you know what it is or what it is what it isn't Mm -hmm. as far as what this law is but it's just to to give a nice little anecdote as to what happens after we keep it right or force someone to keep it down exactly some some people really don't want to you know what I mean? She mm-hmm. she done been to the child support place. This man is getting money under the table. Yeah. So yeah. it don't really matter. It's um um yeah, it's just unfortunate. I mean, like I said, I just I agree at a certain time, like, you know, I and I wish they we can come to some you I know, think seven, hey, but like, seven somebody, weeks, like people, months. like people no, say, "Oh, you cannot." No, that's too that's big. Still too that's big. big ass child. That's a, that reason, baby is pretty much full time. The only yeah, reason why wrong. I say seven is because I had a coworker who did not know, and she got her tubes tied after that when she had just had a baby, and was uh, she still had like weight, like baby weight, so she didn't know her period was still yeah. doing some weird stuff. She legitimately, I think, she told me she said, "Me and my husband had sex six weeks, six weeks after the baby, and it hurt, and we didn't do it again after that." You know, just because whatever. That was when she got pregnant. She thinks she said, "I think that's when I." That has to be the only time. And it was like one of them quick times. <laughs> she said it wasn't even that long. She said, "I can't believe this happened." She said she got her her mm-hmm. tubes tied after yeah. that, mm-hmm. but she was seven months pregnant. Shit. She was seven months pregnant. And did have yeah. no idea. Yeah. That's too late for an abortion. Because of the, yeah, the no. weight, whatever. Yeah. 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 So that's too late. For at an that abortion. point, you gotta seven have it. Months, yeah. yeah, you gotta have it. Well, I mean, she late. did have it, but it was that's just. Too late. Be, I'm speaking from a place of pure not not knowing or not understanding. That's why yeah. I say seven max because this woman that's a big ass baby. Did not know. That baby got everything. It's <laughs> arm, feet. Toe. Yeah, yeah. I just you got everything by then. Yeah, I think what I think is women should make the law, not men. I think women who have experience. Not bearing children, women who have experience I told you. giving, uh, having you know abortion procedures, whatever done, should be making the choices exactly. and the decisions. Not old I white men. I shouldn't even be making the decisions because I haven't experienced yeah. that. Right? Not, That's not old like seven, white men um, <laughs> who daughters are having abortions behind their back. A lot, but, of them, oh, they, a lot of them old. They, they, they what, daughters. Hap- what happens though, when one of these one of these old white men get you one of these women happens. pregnant that they fucking you know with? What then what they gonna do? You go to like, Costa Rica. Like, but they already, do it in your town. They already. They. I remember they caught a couple over the years. They caught a couple of these conservatives. Um, having abortion? T- no, with they little side chicks having a abor- found out ha- had abortion. Like, what well, motherfucker? You you talking about you against hey, abortion? Man, and they said they want to get a doctor ninety nine years. They making sure these doctors Shh. don't do them abortions in the uh, back door in the back of the club and all that old shit. Yeah, this this is uh you know I, I think a lot of motherfuckers hope- get more time to abortions than Didn't crack and shit now and drugs and murder. Yeah, you doing? A, I mean, well that is the same shit, but damn near. But I mean, no, you can. Uh, I mean, they, these these abortion zealots. They believe life. They believe life starts at at early. Like I, I you but know. they believe the time they believe it start. A woman don't. Even, she might not even know. You you that definitely. She's pregnant. I've missed several. I've missed. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Once and and like I said, not being pregnant, but just on some fluke type stuff. Or when you get older, it starts to mess around. When you're on birth control, it's not a hundred percent. So. I just feel like women should be the ones making the choices. Women who've experienced it should be making the dis- making those types of laws. I I totally agree. I totally agree. Yeah, and, that, um, that's how they should settle that. Yeah, this is a uh, um, yeah, this is just that un- won't happen. This, this is, is Trump, unfortunate. Trump love this shit. Well, Trump actually, Trump said uh, he's he said uh, he's for abortion, but he's not in the case of rape and incest. He said that's a little bit too much. Um, what? Uh, <laughs> but um, uh, so, so the I'm gonna read it a little from the CNN. The reason why women get aboard this is from an article from on CNN. The reason, excuse me, the reason why women get abortions are varied and personal. For some, it's because they are victims of rape or incest. Some were in abusive relationships, and other weren't ready ready to be mothers. Maybe that's kind of like your friend. After several states passed restrictive abortion legis- legislation, women are bravely sharing their stories, hoping to shed, dis- shed the stigma around abortion. Um, 
Yeah. CNN reached out to women sharing their stories with the hashtag, you know me, here are some. Her child wouldn't live to term. During her second trimester, Erica Hyatt learned that her son had, had a rare condition and he would not likely make it to term. It was her first baby. He was diagnosed with conge, 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 oh, it's my Lord. It's my Philadelphia oh, congenial. God. This nigga here. You couldn't get that word either. <laughs> yes, I can. High airway obstruction syndrome because his... Trachea? Trachea. Tra- tra- <laughs> tra- <laughs> hey, listen, man. Dope Dilla oh, Podcast did dude. not form, she said. This nigga. He also had a chromosomia. Oh, hey, nigga, so next time let me read this ab- shit. Ab- ab- Abnormality. You know, I'm going to let uh, 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 Tyree read. Uh, tris- trisomia 16, From now on, I'm taking over which frequently read, leads man. to miscarriage. <laughs> Go black. Hyatt and her husband consulted with fetal right. surgeon, surgeons as some babies with this syndrome could under go surgery at the birth, but the son's case was too severe. Doctors told her if their baby didn't die of heart failure in a womb, he would be born brain damaged, she said. The couple struggled, prayed, and decided to end the pregnancy. Now, okay, I, I, you know, but if you ask some of these Republicans, nope, you gotta have a baby. But my thing is, who gonna who who gonna be there to like? Yeah, who gonna who gonna, who gonna pay at, them? At the who gonna take care of the, the baby babies, like and that? Who's gonna be there to like see? The, you know what I mean? I mean, and then to put them parents sit there watching their baby like that from the moment it's born, just brain dead. The, the trauma she you would a, just put on the family. She, she's like, doing that to I, him. I hope this is not a bad like analogy, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I really love dogs, and this is in no way, shape, or form as a, a, a you know comparing a dog to a, to a baby. But I'm merely talking about responsibility, right? Mm-hmm. I I really want a dog. Like I've always had dogs, but I have an apartment, and I don't think that's very fair. And I mean, my apartment is like super dog friendly, but I want like a big dog. Mm-hmm. Oh and, yeah, um, that ain't cool. You know, I uh I don't. My kitchen is like open concept, and I don't really have. I wouldn't have no gate to keep the dog from going in and out of. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm not going to get a dog, but like, what if a dog just like, like, what if, what if like me and my man had a dog, Mm -hmm. right? And then my man left Mm -hmm. and then I had to like, just go get an, uh, an apartment and now I have this dog Yeah. and I'm, it's not fair. You know, Mm -hmm. I I have to work a whole lot of hours to provide a, a space that's not even, you know, like appropriate for this size dog. Right. And like we're both miserable, uh, you know what I mean? Is, is yeah, it? that's new nigga problems. That's new <laughs> nigga. That's new nigga problems. What does that mean? Old niggas didn't give a fuck. Then when they got tired of the dog, they let that motherfucker go exactly. down the street. That's new nigga <laughs> exactly. problems. Exactly. But yeah. but I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm I'm giving it talking to. But what if I couldn't get rid of the dog? Mm. Mm. What if I couldn't? What if I had to sit there and take care of that dog? And you know right. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because somebody is telling me, well, you shouldn't have got the dog. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. No, I, I definitely. So it's just, it's just, and I'm not saying like what I'm for, what I'm not for, what I'm against and what I'm not against, because a lot of these people are saying like people who are for the ban are saying, well, this is like a slippery slope because then, you know, women will be saying, well, I don't want to have this baby because it's going to be a boy or I don't want to have this baby because, you know, yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's that, that's their like that's crazy. concept, right? Hey, like, what what would, hey I just thought slope. about something. I wonder what would stop these Women, like, say, for instance, if you're in Alabama, won't you just go somewhere? I mean, you shouldn't have you to go nowhere else to get you the can't. abortion. What I, I, you got to have a state you, ID. Yes, if you go out of state, I you think will they, still be charged. Yeah, you still be charged. Yeah, yeah. But that's they, how they I, doing I, that. Unless they going to do it on a real low, on a low low, like and, back and, in the day. And, yeah, it's yeah. going to be With some, a green card. Hey, that's what niggas going to start doing. Niggas going to be niggas gonna have, be like, hey, I'll I take that baby out. Come on over here in this alley. Shit. That's going to be a nigga's side hustle. $300. Oh so um, just just um, just to follow up on that story of the young lady we were just talking about. Um, so she had the abortion at 20 weeks. Um, uh, it's been seven, seven years since this. She had this happened in 2012. Since then, she had she has had three healthy children. So she does counseling work, some of which involves helping women who have terminated pregnancy. So, you know, God blessed her with three babies after that. Yeah, situation. anybody who would object to that, I mean, it's tripping. I, like, I mean, the, the baby was just, yeah, the, the baby was just, not let's, gonna be. Let's not make it. Let's read one more. Um, uh, this is another story. She wasn't ready for more children. A mother up to two children became pregnant. And she and her husband decided they weren't in a place to have a third child. Okay, if let me just. I didn't read the husband. rest of it. Go ahead. But just off that, off that first, I'm gonna read the rest. Just off that. If y'all knew that already, yeah, that's their fault. Y'all, yeah. he should have been tube side, or you should have had something. If y'all knew. <laughs> Y'all sat down and, you know. They're a married right, but, couple. Go ahead. Yeah. 
But um, the mother asked not to be named in the story. We had two girls very close, and it took us a while to find our breathing space to have our third. We wasn't, we really weren't sure we can handle one more. Um, you handle one more nut. Her husband. But why is it anybody business? Ho ho. They was. But I'm trying to. Uh, oh god. I aborted my third pregnancy after my two beautiful daughters because my husband and me weren't ready yet for number three. Once we were, once we were, I got pregnant and now have a beautiful oh have a beautiful son that wouldn't be alive if not for my abortion. The end. Her husband panicked when he learned of the pregnancy, and the couple decided it wasn't the right time. Later on, the couple had a son when they were ready. So they, uh, that's just. Uh, well, I don't okay. know about that. Now, that don't make no sense. Right there, though. I, I, so, so here's here's what I think. I think that's. I think they are married. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that and, was married. And, and yeah. I think that's their business. Mm-hmm. And furthermore, this is what I feel like this whole like thread is when I understand like the intent behind it. But because what we're doing, we're judging. Oh, I don't think that's a good enough reason. And I don't think that's a good enough yeah, reason. You, I and it, yeah, you don't have we, to wake up at six in the morning and keep feeding a baby. Yeah. They do. You know, it's like, well, well, be responsible. Be they more responsible. Couple, you know, well, there, there should definitely they be a, a couple, law though. where where it's like you can't get it after this term period. That's it. But. You know, I, most women are not just going out, getting pregnant, and then going back and forth, and just most women mm-hmm. are not doing that. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I mean? There, it's it's not like murder where most women are at nine months going. You know what? Fuck it, kill <clears throat> Like on yeah. some, you know, just yeah. barbaric type stuff. Mm-hmm. That's not just that. That's not the case. Mm-hmm. So, you know. I just feel like it's nobody's business. Mm-hmm. I just feel like it's nobody's business. Why? Um, you know that uh, that's <laughs> they had a baby afterwards when they were ready. Yeah. Like it could it could cause stress. Had they had that third baby, mm-hmm. we don't know if they had a got you know would have ended up divorced because yeah, of could, I mean, you know what I mean. Right, right. And then now look at the situation. It would have been a worse situation. So. <laughs> and it, you know it's just like in, in yeah. general though nobody could judge any of these people, mm-hmm. but. In my, in my mind, not judging them, but I would just say, "Come on, y'all married. Y'all should. They should have been a little more responsible." Some of these other women are trapped in situations they have no been, control. I, mean, I have not checked you my know. blind spot and almost hit somebody. I could have been more responsible. Yeah. Like, there's <laughs> but you know, you married, you know, we have to make concessions for. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's married. why we have welfare for us. Well, bitch, you should have been more responsible and got a goddamn job. Yeah. Well, that's why we have a, a community college. Well, you should have been more responsible and gotten good enough grades to get into a university. Like, mm-hmm. we all could have been more responsible. Right. Right. But there's concessions for when we're not. Mm-hmm. And yes, there should be parameters on abortions, I feel, you know, and I know there is plenty, plenty of people who uh, don't agree with me. But like this, this is incredibly extreme. Like, that's just extreme. And mm-hmm. there's always going to be somebody who will be like, oh, well, that's not a good enough reason. They should have had right. that baby and God would have brought them closer together or the baby would have made them, you know, closer, whatever. So the yeah. reasonings just behind, like, being more responsible, we've all had sex. We grown. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It don't take, ooh, child, I have a homegirl. It didn't last but 30 seconds their first time. Doing it. Oh damn! Took her to took her to pregnant, took her to yard house, <laughs> and she was like, "You know what? It wasn't I even like the yard. Dude. <laughs> I like this dude. I'm gonna go back to Culver City. <laughs> go back to Culver City, and 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 she was like, this is whack." If she left, had no intentions on talking he, to him he, no more. He was already. Yeah. And now she has, I feel like, I think her son is younger. Than, yeah. I think she has like a four year old mm-hmm. now. And, they and, still and together? It, no, they was never together. That oh, was a date. Was just that, one day. that was a date. They uh, they had a little too many at the yard house. <laughs> and she was like, you know what? I'm going to do whatever. I was like, oh, okay, girl. What up? And it was, I was like, whose is it? Now, this, what she told me. I'm like, yard house? Now, oh, girl. Let me tell you, you, you know, just to play devil's advocate again, uh-huh. that, um, this uh, this could be the how the Republicans thinking, just kind of what you're saying. This will make them more responsible. These abortion laws now will make people more responsible. Where they 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 making sure, okay, wear that condom because you know we just can't run and get abortion if something happened. This so just playing devil's advocate. That's kind of what they're they saying. Like, motherfuckers be, bedroom you know, actions. God this is damn. you know be more you know be more responsible now. Just you know y'all just out there Let's wilding. Just be real, but we know in reality it's hard I'm, to say that. But you know, I'm glad I'm past the abortion really age have and that shit. I'm glad 
I ain't got. I ain't. I'm a I know pass niggas who don't name. put put on a condom because it's over there in their backpack. <laughs> that, I'm gonna just not that be is, over here that in is, the bed. I've done that. Where so, the condom is right over there. I'm just lazy as shit. It's, it, I see it. it, it, it the gold wrapper right on there. And right? He not resp- yeah, you see what I'm saying? So <laughs> it's like we're like making stricter laws. Wow, is not going to prevent people from doing what the fuck they're going to do. Mm-hmm. Education, yes. So. All right, so I'm going to read one last uh, one. This is called uh, her right birth. There. The I one mean, last story. Yeah. One last I'm story. to Jamal. Um, <laughs> even when practicing safe sex, sometimes things happen and birth control lets you down. Casey Dorm, Duran was 24 years old and making $15 an hour when she learned she was six weeks pregnant. She was on birth control and she asked her partner to use protection as well. I knew I wasn't ready and I tried to protect myself the best ways I thought. And it still happened. It can happen. It's not just about women not having access because of rape. Um, she, uh, Because I was prepared, but sometimes protection fails. She was working as a receptionist and barely had too. enough to support herself. I still think about how different my life would be if I didn't have access to a safe abortion. She said I would be living on assistance, raising a child on a minimum wage mm-hmm. salary, using a public system that, wasn't, that weren't often denied from because lawmakers think women like us take advantage of that system. Uh, the decision to get an abortion, she she feels that she shouldn't have to explain her decision, which Same. is kind of like what Tyree was saying. The decision to get an abortion is personal. And frankly, many women posting online want to keep it that way. Yeah. yeah. Real shit. And then, that yeah, like, I, do y'all know what a no-look pass is? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We basketball fans. So, mm-hmm. no, 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 no. When it comes to using a rubber. Yeah. Y'all know what a no-look pass no. is. You think... The nigga has one a condom. Oh, yeah. and then you, he, you turn around so he can come from the back. He takes it off and fucks. Oh you off. shit! Yes. You haven't heard of that term before? No look. No, I ain't never did that. No, I'm saying if you heard that term, no look pass. Oh, yeah, I've heard of. I've it. never heard. heard yeah. That. No look passes with Magic Johnson. That's some nasty nigga. That is crazy. And, and you fuck around and be like Magic's ass. Oh, uh, uh, that's some. That's, you, yeah. <laughs> you see what I did there? Ring the bell, nigga. You ring the bell, nigga. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I was shot at. <laughs> He's still trying to read the shit he fucked up earlier. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that is your motherfucker. Also, let, uh, listen, con, con, what was that word again? Con, we not gonna do it. Yeah, man, this it was is. Um, general, but we not gonna. Yeah, man. So, I mean, just from a personal experience, you know, when I I got a, I got my girlfriend pregnant when I was eighteen, and we decided, you know, at that time we were not ready, and at that point in our life, so we Damn. You know, we uh yeah we, that ain't we, we, we got abortion. That's um, usually. And um yeah you know sometimes I think about what my life would have been if I had you know had had my child um you know it you know I think about that a lot you know um so yeah it's it's a personal issue just at that time we just felt you Nigga know said we you think about it a lot I do I do I, I mean, mean you're thinking about it a lot today yeah yeah no I do I, over the years um um you know would I've been able to move out to LA or you know I probably wouldn't I probably you know until yeah. my child got a certain age I probably would have stayed in Philly, Philly yeah. driving the bus <laughs> <laughs> with this shirt on yeah <laughs> nigga be driving the bus in Philly yeah so it's it's you know it's definitely it's definitely um and I remember we you know us coming back from the uh from the abortion place or uh, the clinic um and you know just it was you know it was a, it was a was small, anybody in front of it when y'all went no, I don't Ooh, think so. Child. The protesters and it be, be out there. nothing but me. Uh, they be out there yelling with signs. I, I they, 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 don't, they don't. They don't. They don't play that in Philly. They know somebody smacked the shit out of them. Oh. Trying to <laughs> get out of my way. To, I count these twenties. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's going to be. You know. It's it's definitely going to be a topic that's going to be debated for a long time until they decide it's it, it's it's a faction out there that want to been wanting to overturn Roe versus Wade for a that, while. Yeah, they're going they about to do it, man. They're gonna make an example out of out of some woman who, <laughs> who who's like, gonna be the brave doctor to put uh, to risk ninety nine years? Ain't no doctor's gonna do that shit. Yeah, yeah, we had, what, what, we had a, a doctor with Mardi Gras masks on, so we don't know what they look like. We had a doctor in Philly they actually locked him up. He was called the abortion doctor. Like he was just wilding. He was just having late term abortions, not following the rules. He was having abortions at the mall and all kinds of like, shit. Like he was just so they called him the abortion. But they locked him up. I think he got life. He was an old motherfucker. They gave him they 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 gave him life. Like he was just wilding. Like his clinic, they they was he wasn't properly. I might have heard doing of that the fetus story like properly doing what they supposed to do after you get an abortion. Like he was just wild and um. Somebody tried to put a uh, do like a little thing, uh, like a an exhibit, I guess, mm-hmm. uh, where they had like 
the fetuses, what they look like after, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. And it just looked like blood and guts. And they're like, say this is what happens. And I just looked at it like, uh, I mean, yeah, I wasn't, yeah. I personally was not moved mm-hmm. because, I mean, like, we could do the same thing with pap smears or fibroid removal or like, you know right. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, you're just showing blood and guts. Yeah. Now, a whole baby is like mm-hmm. where I'm not talking about that. I'm not talk- I'm right. not talking about seven, eight, and nine, mm-hmm. six. I'm not talking about that. Mm-hmm. But oh, yeah. although the lady with the congenital who had uh, the child yeah. whose throat yeah. didn't form, that was, if she's at that 20 weeks, 20 that's weeks. five months. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. But so, that's for FYI. occasion, you know, yeah, for situations like that, yeah, I yeah, have no, yeah. I have no issue. But, you know, other than five months, it just, you just decided five months, I'm ready to get, no, nah, and at that, you know, you should have. You know, it has to be a certain cut, you know, with women, but I do agree, women need to decide that. Yes. I, as a man, I can't come up with, yeah. I'd rather. What was the, the cutoff? Way? I mean, what 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 I is the cutoff five, before they. Three. I think it was three. Three months? I think yeah, I think was, so. Right? I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Um, yeah. uh, Tyree, we do a thing called the Dope Seven. I'm okay. going to ask you seven questions okay. and you just rapid give fire. me whatever. No, this is, you, say, you know, rap, kind of rapid fire, but, you know, the, but, you know, t- you know, take your time. Um, uh, yeah, I, you're going to fuck up the it's, reading. It's, it's been a minute. I, I don't really, <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> it's funny. I, I We've had so many male guests, so the, a lot of these questions are catered I'm towards. I'm used to it. It's, it's okay. Male, but I want to switch them to. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's get it on. Um, the Dope Seven, Tyree Elaine is up here. Um, uh, light skin on Viv or dark skin on Viv? Dark skin on Viv. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She crazy, but everybody, everybody <laughs> still love everybody. Favorite sexual position? Mm. Got quiet. In um, I like all three equally. What's the, what's the basic three? But what's the basic thing? Not the Him basic. on top, me on top, doggy style. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe missionary. If, maybe yeah. Doggy. Maybe if it if it don't end at doggy style, mm-hmm. the seat belt, which is a fan favorite of mine. Oh okay. He's basically on top, and then he takes one of your legs and puts it across it. Oh, his shirt. Yeah, so, you know what the belt. seat? You know about the seat belt? I don't know the name of it, but shit. Oh shit! Um, la- you're not laughing, you're learning. Okay. Last TV show you binge watched. Last TV show that you binge watch. What did I just get done binge watching? Um, like new show? Any, any well, show doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, because I sat up and binged. Um, damn, Fresh Prince. Mm, okay, I seen it on Prime. I was like, I do it. <laughs> yeah. I'd um uh. Okay, you know what? Let's go to Fresh Martin or the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Martin. Martin. Okay, favorite episode of Martin. <laughs> so many, right? Varnell. Huh? Varnell. Oh, Varnell Hill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One uh rerun. How many times I invited you to my house? Lots of times. How many times you ever been in my house? Never. Never. What's gonna happen if you ever show up in my house? I'm gonna get spread. spread. Happen is behind, man. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> classic, classic episode, man. Classic, classic episode. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, just a few more. Favorite city to perform in. I really, 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 really enjoy Nashville, Zanies. Oh, yeah. That's a cool club. Cool club. I've never been there, but I've heard good things. I think Blackson just did it not too long ago. He was yeah, telling I've me about it. Yeah, yeah. I, out of all... The, Tampa was cool, uh, uh, but Zanies just stands out. Okay. Top three cereals. Top three morning cereals. Um, uh, Cinnamon Sauce Crunch. Mm. Um... That's it. Who has three? Yeah. I got that's it. it. Okay, that's it. Okay. I don't, right. too, I don't vary. I mean, I'm on my healthy shit now, but Cinnamon Toast Crunch gets it done every time. <laughs> All right, last question. I think I asked you one extra, but we, uh, one popular movie that everybody have seen, but you never seen. Like, it's a popular movie. Every You, like, you yeah. know, it's a classic movie, Scarface. but you. Scarface. What? Oh, dang. You never seen Scarface. It was funny. Somebody was just on the radio, I think the sports, saying they'd never seen Scarface either. The and guy that said. That was a dude. That's a damn shame. Yeah, I it was never a dude, too. Woman. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> too. I don't see all that that's shit. true. Scarface was, you, Scarface was the shit. <laughs> I bet it was. Yeah, it I, was. I chose Belly instead. So you're not a gangster? Are you a gangster movie? Because you like Belly. Belly, or, yeah. Are you a gangster movie? Godfather? No, Goodfellas? I've never seen Goodfellas. Um, I've never really been into all that, like, 
blood and gut. You know yeah, what I yeah. mean? Mm -hmm. Well, Scarface is a true American. I mean, just a success story. They came over here with nothing. It's, it's a gangster success story. Yeah, and they came up. Yeah, <laughs> they came up. Shit, so did Mr. in the Color Purple. And Celia, you think she had them pants? That pants store cracking before? Remember Scarface's mama didn't want none of that money? She was like, get that dirty money away from me. <laughs> this sound like American gangster. This don't sound. All right, so uh, what you got coming up? What you got going on? Which um, Well, <laughs> excuse me, right now I'm not doing nothing, which is why I was like, why the fuck would you say that you, I've been busy? I, I haven't. You, but uh -uh. you don't, you come on, you don't <laughs> stop it. Right? Oh, let's talk about the Connors. You was the only black female writer or black, black writer? Black person in the room. Wow. How, first That's thing, remarkable. congratulations on that Thank one. You. How did you... How did you get that gig? How did that um, come about? I have no idea. Uh, I, my reps was like, you know, do you want to go in for this meeting today at five? I wasn't doing shit. I was like, sure. Mm -hmm. And they sent me some of the clips from the uh, most recent Roseanne. Oh, right. I was like, this shit is good. Mm -hmm. I don't like a lot of TV, mm -hmm. a lot of TV shows, um, especially newer ones. But I really was able to sit through it and appreciate like the story and mm -hmm. all that other stories and all that other stuff. Um, although I wasn't trying to write for that Roseanne show because obviously that got canceled. But, right. Um, so you didn't you weren't for the Roseanne. You came on when the Connors. Yeah, took, okay. I came on after. Now how was how was that how was that because I know. They're happy that they got a job now. How was what was the? What was the what I don't was care the, to be. I don't care. the energy in the, in the place. What? I I'm gonna be honest yeah. with you. I don't care to be the only person of color anywhere. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, that was I, my first yeah. experience ever. Like being. I mean, I you had no idea. To yeah. San Antonio once, and I was the only black person on the plane <laughs> for two yeah. and a half hours. Right. But I mean, something like that. And I didn't realize it. It it, it happened all of a sudden. You know. And mm -hmm. um. You know. I didn't know. Like I just was looking around. Like oh, one day I was like. Oh, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, and it's it's definitely a feeling that nobody if if you're not black you 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 won't understand. Period. So I could say anything mm -hmm. about how I felt about being the only black person in the room, and it's going to sound negative to somebody who's not black. Right. So that I, I won't even like explain right. how I feel because it's going to mm -hmm. sound like bitching and moaning or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's just not a good feeling. Yeah, that's yeah, that's just. But you, you know, some of these companies. I look at, remember, you know, remember Gucci and they had this. Remember the little monkey. Mm -hmm. They and I'm like, they obviously don't have nobody black in the room. They might. Or, yeah. They might yeah, they I'm, might. I'm thinking they might. They I might hope. have somebody who said that's not a good idea, and then everybody else is like, we're still doing it. That's yeah, when that's the black, true. That's, that's what when the happened. black person got black. Like, Fuck. I'm telling. You, okay, the black person when it when it blow up in your face. I told y'all don't. Tyree told you, motherfuckers, don't put no monkey out there. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let's talk about we about to play this clip from the Dirty 30 uh, yes. your, your series yes, um, yes yes tell us just a little, a little bit of I think you talked about it earlier yeah. but what's this what are we about to play like we're about to play the, a couple minutes from the, episode one yeah the very first episode um, I mean it's pretty self explanatory I, I, uh, okay, let's, let's, let's introduce it. Introduce I'll introduce it. it. Um, you know, um, if you're listening you won't see like the first few seconds but it's a text message uh, uh that basically says you up from somebody named Ignore. Here we go. Go ahead and introduce it. Dirty 30. Dirty 30's episode one. New message, you up. <sighs> you know that Ignore shit don't work, right? Not none of them. Do not answer. Decline. Don't be a stupid bitch girl. Maybe if they did work, I wouldn't be rinsing myself out at 3 a.m. for my ex. And I can't even really call him my ex-ex because we was never really together together. But we have been kicking it, chilling, vibing out, you know, ordering food and fucking for quite some time now. What's up? Oh! Uh, oh no. Yes! Yes! No, I'm about to close. No! No! Yes! Yes! No! Yes! Oh. 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 Damn, Eric, we didn't even get a chance to do it from the back. Just give me 10 minutes. Come on, huh? You know I could beat this nigga's ass, right? Eric, what are we doing? Talking about, we chilling, watching Mark. I mean, where is this going? Well, after this, let me single coming on, then right after that, it's gonna be New York undercover. Us? Where are we going? What, what are we doing? 
Like, come on, man. We 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 getting to know each other, you know? But six years, Eric? Man, look. Look, Tyree, we've been through this already. You know I love you. Like, you know that. Like, my career just starting to take off. I'm trying to get my money right. I don't even feel like I should be in a relationship right now. I mean, you know how it is. Yeah, I, I know how it is. I got a commercial audition in the morning. I'll go home and get some sleep. All right, then. All right. So you want me to call you tomorrow? Can you not? You going to do this? Do what? This? I hope I don't have to keep doing this because this is stupid. I'm too old for this shit. Tell me, how many times you going to tell me to stop calling you? As many times as it takes. Can I at least call you and let you know I made it home? Friday, he rented the kayaks, and then Saturday, he took me to brunch, and then he took me to see Carl Thomas Saturday night. Damn, I wanna go somewhere. Girl, ask Eric to take you out of town. Because when Mike took me to Santa Barbara, it was, what, one day? And it was very affordable. Girl, the man has never even taken me to dinner where both of us got to order an entree. He ain't about to take me nobody out of town. Besides, I told him not to call me no more. Again? Okay, so are you gonna start seeing other people now? I mean, because look, you, <laughs> you're not no spring chicken. You about to be 30. To be honest, I really just want to be by myself for a minute. Just really give myself some time to get over Eric. For real, for real. I still can't believe he ain't take you on a real date. Six years and not one day? How do you let that happen? You know I'm a homebody. Eric would always make these grand plans and then he get an acting job last minute or he lose his wallet right before it. He pick a fight. And you know he always knows somebody that's throwing a house function or a networking party and we always end up doing stuff like that. I can't believe I've been stupid this long. Me neither. I could see six months of dealing with that, but six years? Bitch. Okay, first of all, it's your fault too. How you gonna be my best friend and let me waste six years of my life? Where your ass was at when Eric was doing the bare minimum to keep me around? I was right there saying, Tyree, he's doing the bare minimum to keep your ass around. Well, you should have said it louder. It's all right though. I'm gonna use this time for self growth. Maybe I'll read some books learn a new language, finally get rid of this stomach, do some real self-reflection. Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to interrupt or anything. I just moved into this building and I just wanted to introduce myself. My name's Omar. You guys live here? She does. A nice, attractive man would move into my building the minute I decide to find me. Do there we go, ladies and gentlemen. And nice to meet you. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That was the dirty... 30 episode one that's not the whole thing that we just played a little clip so please go to youtube uh look up dirty 30 uh, or google uh tyree elaine uh name and you can check that out and it's funny i'm watching this i just forgot that i seen you in something um years ago and it's funny donovan was in it too oh yeah the enemy the enemy yeah I that just, was i just found that yo that was real good yeah. I, I forgot where i seen it at I, it was I, in my story today yo yesterday. that's the light-skinned brother who put it together i somehow i seen it somewhere oh, wow. and it, it was it was a, a short called the enemy basically this light-skinned brother like a you know corporate brother mm. but the end in me <laughs> The nigga in me. That's kind of... Mm -hmm. And Donovan played like his alter ego, like the nigga in him. Mm -hmm. So, like, he goes about his life, but Donovan is, like, in his ear, like, nigga, don't lay. And you played, like, a supervisor or something? Or the, of you, the light-skinned dude. Of the light-skinned dude, mm -hmm. yeah. So she was, like, his boss. So, yeah, you did it. Yeah, I, watching that made me remember. Mm -hmm. So you've been, you've been working. Congratulations Thank on doing you. your thing. Doing your thing. <laughs> Ain't called me to get in nothing, but that's cool. I'm, I'm <laughs> Where do you live, baby? Getting my I'm in Sherman Oaks. There is, oh, maybe I should. And I got, a, I got a two-bedroom. We can shoot whatever in my living room I'll I be trying to shoot I'll be inviting people over there let's shoot something alright let's, yeah. let's shoot it, yeah, you know, it but damn sure I can't come in my house no more no yeah they can shoot yeah, they, yeah, we can <laughs> I'm shoot, playing yeah, we can shoot something I got some funny stuff to shoot too but um, uh, that's what's up that's what's up I'm so proud of you doing thank your you. thing thank keep, you so much did you guys oh, like man. it so far y'all yeah, like, was yeah. into it y'all yeah, saying yeah, yeah. it a, was like hood niggas into it I was like this was for the <laughs> ladies but y'all fuck with yeah, it okay cool. and it's funny seeing you know See, you know, I know Donovan. I know you. Like seeing your people's doing their mm -hmm. thing, man, being creative. So, uh, real quick, where can they find you at? Tell everybody where can they find you at? Um, on at? all social media sites, on everything is Tyree Elaine C Y R E E, and then E L A I N E. 
Mm-hmm. Cool, cool, cool. So, I um, mean, listen, you're welcome to come back anytime, anytime you, you know, you got something going on, you know, please come, come, Absolutely. come, come co-host with us or whatever, man. Um, I like your logo too, man. Thank did you. Did you design that? I and, did. I drew that one day. Oh, okay. Got the website. You uh-uh. okay. yeah. All right. Yeah. That's what's up, man. So, uh, <laughs> any shows coming up or anything or just, just uh-uh. go check out the, check out the website. Uh, check out the website. Ch- yeah. Check out, um. Um, follow me on social media platforms. Yeah. Please watch my web series. I'm so very proud of it. It was my first time ever doing something of this magnitude all by myself. So, you know, it's been getting some love. That's so what's up. And appreciate That's me. That's mm-hmm. what's up. Appreciate it. appreciate Seven back. episodes total. Watch yeah. Yeah. How, how long? It was a two week shoot? Quick week shoot? How- um, It took two days to do episode one, and then it took one day to do the last episode, and then a full week, about five or six days to do uh, the, ep- the episodes in the middle. So maybe mm-hmm. about a week and a half total okay. to like shoot everything, but I had to write everything and stuff too. Cool, 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 yeah. cool. Well, listen, come back and see us anytime. Ladies Absolutely. and gentlemen, Tyree Lane, give her a hand. Thank you hand. for having me. That's yeah. Yes, thanks for coming. Uh, Toby Hicks, you got anything coming up, man? No, I'm chilling this week here in L.A. It's a holiday week. Yeah, holiday, now. yeah. Shout out to everybody celebrating, barbecuing, going to the beach. This weather been crazy, but hopefully it, the sunshine will come out, man. Yeah, by the weekend it's supposed to be cool. It's supposed yeah. to rain uh, mm-hmm. a couple days this week, but uh, by the weekend it should be cool. Definitely. Follow us on Instagram or Twitter, Dope Dealers podcast dope dealers with an s uh also you know go to itunes leave, uh, leave us a good review if you leave us a good review take a screenshot of it go to our instagram page dm us the screenshot and we will send you a free t-shirt that's how we do it man we'll send you a free t-shirt we got a phone number that you can call 818-335-2065 one more time 818-335-2065 that's what's up man and you any bookings please uh me toby hicks and tyree you want to bring us to your city check us out man uh just hit us up at jamal doman j-a-m-a-l-d-o-m-a-n at toby hicks t-o-b-e-h-i-x-x Definitely, man. We love you guys, man. The military, you know, we do it for you guys, man. All our soldiers Dope dealers overseas. Uh, we love you guys, man. Uh, uh, shout out to Paul, our engineer, Comedy Pop-Up. We out of here.